<laughs> Big news ahead of the United States game today against Iran. That is a huge soccer oh, yeah. match, uh, yeah. by the way. Uh, one o'clock right here on Fox 2. Uh, reports say, listen to this, guys. The Iranian government has threatened its entire national soccer team and their families. The government allegedly said the players and their family members could face imprisonment and torture if the players fail to, quote unquote, behave ahead of the game. This comes as Iran is dealing with protests over a deadly officer shooting. Many of the national soccer team's players have supported the demonstrations. Sources say there is a large security presence in Qatar monitoring the players. Now, the players in their last soccer game, as you can see them there, they're not mouthing the national anthem, and that is, according to the Iranian government, not behaving. Mm. So something to keep an eye on if you're watching today, just, um, you know, we here in this country trying to win a soccer game, uh, and if they lose, they lose. Oh well, we'll see you in four years, maybe try again. These players, their families are dealing with threats of imprisonment, you know, depending upon how they behave. This is really intriguing because there is so much political turmoil, of course. So first of all, there's the game, which is exciting, right? Yeah. Um, th it's gonna be an incredible game, apparently. Um, but then there's the issue of representing your country, if you're Iran, yeah. and all of, all of what's happening back there, yeah. um, there's been protests and we've seen um, women um, protesting and all, all kinds of things going on there. So um, it just puts you in an in, in interesting, and then our, of course, um, political you know, confrontation with Iran too. So I don't know, it all, it all stirs uh, the pot of, a lot. Yeah, uh, you can't pick and choose though. I mean, it, it, you want to be proud of, of where you're from, but one of the uh, Iranian reporters asked of one of the American football players, you know, in terms of, I guess the soccer team, we spoke about this on the noon, erased the emblem from the flag, from the Iraqi flag, which was, I, you know, thought to be by many disrespectful. And they asked of this U.S. player, well, you know, how do you feel about all of the racism in your country as an African-American man, you know, that you're faced? So uh, we have now seen through Twitter and all these other, th all over the world, everyone is dealing with, with something. So you just want them to be able to play the game and enjoy the game in a safe way. But I think the world as a whole has a long ways to go. There's no doubt, Marielle, this country has a long way to go, but when you look at the tyranny in Iran, that is, uh, uh, I mean, that is, um, I mean, pretty incredible uh, images in that, in that country. I'm not minimizing uh, some, of the, some of the issues, some of the faults in this country, but at the same time, um, it, it does feel like what happens in Iran, you know, to women, uh, to a, any group. Um, and again, family members being yeah. threatened of the soccer players being threatened there too. I just don't, you know, I just, I don't know. Yeah, it is, uh, it is it's intriguing. And it's all playing out on this big world stage all yeah. surrounding this the soccer match. Um, so uh, that is on uh, Fox 2 today. What time is that? 1 o'clock. 1 p.m. Yeah. All right. We'll there be we watching.